Hey guys, today I'm going to be creating my fourth ATC card for the 52 pieces of art. Um, I will link Dee's Crafty Swaps down below in the description for you. Uh, Dee is the one that's hosting this challenge. And so far I've created um, three one for New Year's, one for National Sticker Day, and a winter one last week. And this week I'm going to be doing a um, Puzzle Day, National Puzzle Day one, because Puzzle Day is on the 29th, which is the last week of the month, but I will be doing a different... Um, ATC card for technically that first week of first part of the week of February and the end of January. So I wanted to do the puzzle day this week. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've got my attack adhesive. I've got my glue gun on. I've got these Tim Holt stickers. I've got some of this fabric washi um, to see if I could use that. Then I have these really cute layered butterflies that were gifted to me in a swap. And then in here I have three puzzle pieces that were gifted to me in a swap over on these crafty swaps. And I was thinking about instead of me creating a puzzle piece, why not use one of these what's gifted to me? So I really like this one with the hummingbird that says life is good. Um, these are all very springy, uh, but that doesn't bother me at all. I really like this one. Um, and I actually already had this ATC card base cut out. So your base needs to be two and a half by three and a half. This one is just doubled up for more uh sturdiness so i already have the card cut out and i think this one goes really well with the colors so let's go ahead and get started so i think i want to use one of these butterflies let's see you can carefully get it off we're gonna have i'm gonna keep that right next to me all right so I think I want the main focus to be this beautiful puzzle piece. I wish I could remember who gifted me these, but they don't have any uh, names. If I can find out or remember who I got the puzzle pieces from, I will link them down below if they have a channel. But I love the hummingbird, the cute little flower, the paper, and this life is good here. So I think I want that to be like the main focal point of the ATC, maybe a little butterfly. So I'm thinking maybe adding a stripe of this down, then my puzzle piece, then my butterfly here. Or maybe I should bring in some something for the background. I don't know. I really want the puzzle piece to be the main focus of this. So I'm going to go ahead and trim off a piece of this. Now this washi tape is sticky on one side. It has the paper backing and then it feels like fabric. So it's really cool fabric tape. All right, so we're gonna add that down. I love the navy and the polka dots. All right, so we have some of that laid down. I feel like I want to layer I 
feel like I want to layer a little bit more. I don't know if I want to add some of this. It's actually not bad. I kind of like that. I like this trim from the Dollar Tree. So maybe I'll layer that there. So I'm just going to use I'm going to use my tape runner for this at the moment. And I'm going to add that down and then I can clean up some of the loose stuff and some of it will be covered up as well. All right, I'm going to do a little trim. I'm going to leave a little bit hanging off the edge. So then we need to add our puzzle piece down and I think I want to add a little dimension and pop this up on some foam tape. So I'm going to go ahead and add a couple pieces of foam tape here. And then do I want to add some gold thread behind it? I want to do a little bit of like layer and texture behind it since it'd be very simple with just the puzzle piece. But I'm not sure. No, I don't like the layering behind it. Not a big deal. I think that distracts and takes away from puzzle piece. So, do I want to put the puzzle piece right in the middle? I could still have room for the butterfly up here, or I could kind of catty corner it, put the butterfly there. Okay, I think I like that. So let's take off our backing. I feel like I need I feel like I need a piece of foam tape here. Okay. And maybe a little bit here. So I'm going to kind of turn this a little bit. You could pop up this, a little bit of this one layer of flowers to give it a little dimension. And then I'm going to add my little butterfly there. So I'm only going to glue down that bottom section. This is turning out really cute. I like the navy in the background, the shimmer on the paper, the added uh, texture of that Dollar Tree trim, our cute little butterfly. Now, let's do, I don't think I need any more sentiments. I have the life is good, so I don't think we need our Tim Holtz book. But I would like to add some gems down. I'm thinking 
Yeah, I'm thinking the pink will look good. So we have pink in here, pink in our paper. So I'm just going to lay a couple different ones around the page or around the ATC card. No rhyme or reason. I'm going to tuck kind of that one hidden in there. And this is done. I love this. This turned out super cute. I love that the puzzle piece was already done for me. And then I could just put that on my ATC card and made it go by so much faster. How cute. I love this. And the cute little butterfly. And then what I'm doing on the back of these is I'm writing January in number four. So I know I made this in the month of January and this was my fourth ATC. So that is what I'm doing with them. And then I'm keeping them in my little Dollar Tree container here. So thanks for stopping by and creating this ATC card with me for National Puzzle Day. Hope you all have a great day. Bye.